Okay? It just gives. So, that's it for this look. Same wig, different style. And you guys can see the hair curls so nicely. Hey guys, how's it going? Happy New Year. So we're back today with another hair video. So shout out to Eunice Hair Company for sponsoring today's video. Now Eunice Hair definitely stepped 2024 up with a really, really nice, amazing unit, guys. So this is their largest 13 by 4 cap, guys. This unit is actually a 13 by 4 glueless unit. Now they do have an upgraded cap on this unit, which comes with uh, tape on both ear tabs. Now I'm a medium to average cap size head guy, so my head is kind of small in a way. This unit fits ear tab, ear to ear, perfectly guys. Now obviously I did not remove the tape strips yet, but I'm gonna remove them so that I could install this unit for you guys. It is super glueless guys. Another thing that they did was add an adjustable strap and they actually add the hooks on the back of the unit. So it's actually two times secure this time. Um, the unit is very nice. It also comes with pre-plucked um, and pre-bleached hairline and everything guys. And the unit also comes pre-cut as well too. So it's already cut for you and it also comes in a zigzag form. So it's very easy to to apply this unit guys now with this unit today i'm actually stepping into i think last year 2023 i realized my kind of style i'm a middle part like long hair or curls or some type of look like that i feel like body wave texture and a middle part style like what i have on right now is kind of like my signature look so in 2024 we're going to kind of keep going for that signature look now i do the middle part pretty much all the time now but i'm also going to show this unit to you guys in a side part and kind of show you guys the versatility of this parting space guys like i said the largest 13 by 4 glueless wig cap guys glueless wig cap um the unit is 24 inches long guys it's a natural density i did go ahead and uh put some extra curls in and cut like a light layer in the front now this is straight out the box i did not co-wash this hair it is a body wave texture so it's going to come to you very fluffy and very full guys so all i did with this one was just amp it up with some curls and add some light high um, highlights add some light layers to it and that's it guys so let me go ahead and pop this unit off and put this one Alrighty guys, so I went ahead and just plopped this unit on. As you guys can see, the lace on this unit is very, very nice, guys. It is also, like I said, pre-bleached, pre-plucked, pre-everything on this unit. It also comes with the lace already zigzagged and stuff. So what I'm gonna do with this unit, guys, is just add powder around the perimeter. I might actually do like some light baby hairs on this unit, but not get like crazy baby hairs. Just kind of keep it very light. Now, as you guys can see with the air tab section, like I mentioned, um, the hair, the wig fits perfect guys like if it's perfect all I'm gonna just do is lift that little tape up and then just basically put it down um, like I said I'm gonna add some powder on the sides just to kind of you know make it more realistic and I think I may do like maybe like let's see like one baby hair here like a little swiggle right there and a little swiggle right here um, just for the purposes of me doing a side part so you guys can get like a little swig on that side so I'm just gonna do some light baby hairs in here let me grab my scissors and get my tools together so we can go ahead and slay this unit but this is what it looks like guys body wave texture honey body wave texture very full and like I said it's a pretty natural density so the body wave itself just gives the hair extra volume as you guys can see and you guys can see it's very very gorgeous very gorgeous and like I said the middle part is definitely kind of like my signature look but I'm gonna show you guys my second favorite signature look of course all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and just do some very light baby hairs in this unit I'm gonna go ahead and use my hot comb to separate the baby hairs that I want, especially this one right here. And I'm just gonna do two, just because I am gonna do a side part with this unit as well. So I wanna kinda make sure that the baby hair stays in place. So I'm just gonna grab small sections on both of these sides. Obviously you'll see that there's like a little bit of extra lace on it, but I'm not gonna cut that off just because I'm doing a baby hair here. I'm gonna spray with a little bit of my Aussie hairspray. This is my travel size one. <laughs> And I'm gonna just get it to flatten out. Like I said, this is a glueless unit, so you don't need to um, glue this unit down. You could just play with it and make it look real glueless and cute. And I think that's all the baby hair I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do all that extra stuff. I'm just not into that right now. So just a little swiggle right here and a little swiggle right here. So that's what we're gonna do as far as the baby hair. It goes on both sides. Um, and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pop this tape off on both sides. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not, as a matter of fact, I don't even think I'm gonna do like a little, I think I'm just gonna spray this down. So I'm gonna spray the baby hair itself and then just kinda like do like a little soft swig like this. If I'm like a little soft swiggle like that. I think that looks cute. And it's just gonna stay permanent like that. Instead of using like a glue or anything like that, just put a little hairspray on the comb and just kind of make the wave by yourself. A little bit of hairspray, so 
just to give me the formation. I don't want it to be like plastered on baby hairs. I just want it to have like a little bit of a curve to it. So when I pop the wig off and pop it on, it'll still do that little that little look like that. So I'm gonna keep the bit of the front like this. I don't want to do that too much to this one. I just want to leave it like that. They did a really good job pre-plucking this unit, guys. Very, very good job, as you guys can see. So it looks really, really nice and clean. Very, very clean. So what I'm going to do now is pop the tape off and then just put the unit down and then add some powder around the perimeter so you guys can see what it looks like. Right, so I removed the little cover on the ear tabs. Now I'm just going to go ahead and place it down. Like I said, the unit fits me ear to ear um, pretty well. And this is just going to keep this little ear side down. And the thing about this kind of tape right here is that you can lift it up and lift it back down which I like and it's just gonna fall into place now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just trim a little bit of the lace that's underneath the hair because you don't need all that I wanted to place it on my head before I started cutting to make sure I didn't cut too much off so I'm just gonna cut that off right there and then on this side uh, I'll move it down a little bit and then cut off some hair as well too like I said if you want to do baby hairs you can do baby hairs but you don't need to with this unit it's not necessary especially for the style that I'm doing you're not going to really be seeing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this a little bit as well. Just to make sure that this ear doesn't have too much lace still there. So there you go. On this side, like I said, if you want to do a baby hair, you can. But I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and add some powder on both sides. And this is my Fenty powder. So I'm going to add it on both sides just to make sure that everything looks just like regular, seamless, flawless, etc., etc. around the perimeter. And if you want to, you can go ahead and play with the baby hairs by pulling stuff down this way. Like I said, because the style that I'm doing is not a style that's going to be showing any of your hairline or anything like that, or the sides, it doesn't really matter. So this is what it looks like, guys. And like I said, it's glueless, nothing glued down. And you can even go ahead and do that as well, too, on the sides. And just take your hand and push it back down. So <laughs> it's pretty glueless for a frontal wig. Very, very nice, guys. And for the baby hairs, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and fix them up but i'm gonna go ahead and do like a little bit of a light curl in the front of this unit so i can show you guys and you guys can see straight on from here you won't be able to see anything just because i concealed everything nicely and the style that i'm going for doesn't really show that much so this is what the unit is going to look like for you and the unit is very secure guys and very flat let me show you stand up and show you guys the length very fluffy guys shout out to Eunice hair company for sending me this link uh this link this robe this robe is actually a brighter color of their collection very cute so yeah that's what it's gonna look like guys look at that but let's go ahead and do a little razzle dazzle on these baby hairs on the side right here before we move All right, guys as you guys can see the hair is buttery silky and just absolutely stunning guys like i showed you guys is they cut a, like a light layer in the front um like i said i didn't wash this unit guys i literally just took it out the pack Oh god, I hate when hair is stuck on my lip gloss. Like, ooh, child. So I cut the hair when I got it straight out the box. And this is what it's giving. The hair curls very nicely. If you're into like a style like this, I definitely recommend that you get body wave texture. Like if you're a girl that loves like a nice like curl look like this, I'm telling you, this is like my signature look. I freaking love this. If you like hairstyles like this, body wave texture and bundles, wig, whatever it is, is the way to go if you're trying to achieve this type of look. Just because this hair has so much bounce and luster to it, body wave texture is literally body wave texture. So I'm just adding a few curls around the perimeter area just to give me more buff at the top. The hair is very, very pretty, guys. Look how soft it is. Very nice. You guys can see all the way through. The 24 inches on this is giving what it needs to give, guys. Pretty much giving everything that it needs to give. And um, you guys can see, look at that thing. Look at that. Like, this is literally like my signature, signature look. Like, it just gives. Okay? It just gives. So that's it for this look. I feel like this looks nice. I'm gonna know what you guys think. Do you guys like look number one? Um, and let's go ahead and do look number two, but I'm feeling look number one so bad. Like this is my favorite, favorite look. I'm using an Aussie's Instant Freeze Mega Hold Hairspray. I like this one as an overall hairspray as well. I usually bring it on my trips just because it has like anti-humidity. Um, and I was wearing like, you know, units that were straight on my vacation, my recent vacation. So this is the final look of the middle part. And like I said, the unit is super glueless, guys. Nothing to it. It's a frontal style. And you guys can see the little ear tab is hidden right here. So you won't be able to see anything 
very simple you can also slide it off too and then re-put the wig back down if you want to add some spray on it you can but you don't need to especially if you're not doing styles like that are going to be showing all of that uh, styles like this definitely don't put emphasis on those areas so you're pretty much good to go honey all right y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to the side part now getting the side part down oh it's actually really easy i didn't even think it's gonna be this easy but again the hair is super soft so why wouldn't it be this easy to get it to go this way i actually like the way this curl goes this way but i'm gonna actually recurl it back but let's go ahead and get this to find a little bit more so i'm gonna do like a little bit of a curved part something like a c shape Hopefully I can get this right on camera and not have to do it off camera. But something like a C shape like that. I think that would do. We're going to spray it. I could use my wax stick, but I'm going to spray because the spray will really get the hair to stick on that side. Versus trying to jump over here on this side. But I do like how that curl. Ooh, la la. I actually might leave it. Oh, I love it like that. <laughs> Okay, now you and his hair company, baby. And there goes a the little side tab right there. You see how the side looks really natural and nice as well, too? So I don't have to do that much if I switch it over. I'm just gonna flat. We don't wanna get too flat. We want it to get it nice. Still got like a little bit of elevation in it, but we don't wanna make it too, too, too flat. Too, too flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take that comb and kind of you know shake this area up right here up a little since that was in the middle part style so i'm gonna put my split it like this then we use it to hot comb and i'm gonna flatten the inner part because it'll lay flatter if i do it that way instead of just doing it from the front so just gonna lay it flat and then lay the side flat as well too so there you go maybe more of a natural flow through minus is just looking like I, it looks like I had like a middle part. You feel me? So I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it. And you guys can see that looks really, really good. Hairline looks flawless on you. Look at that. Open that up a little bit. So then we can get that curl to fall back. So that's what it's giving right here. And also with this one, if we wanted to find this area as well, I'm just going to go ahead and take my comb and kind of like do it at a curve, but not really. Just to kind of make sure this part doesn't stay too wide. So, something like that. So the parting space is not too, too wide looking. And you can go back in and make this part right here. Perfect. Just like that, guys. Like, nothing too crazy. Just to kind of define the parting space. If I did not mention already guys, happy 8th anniversary to Eunice Hair Company. They've been around for 8 years and they have been doing their very big one with their Eunice. So happy anniversary to you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Right, so this is basically it for this unit right here. So this is a side part style. The bang is giving a lot of bang right now. I absolutely love it though by the way. And again, there's nothing that, that has changed. It is a glueless unit guys. I literally just changed the parting space. I can adjust this one by lifting it up and down. You already know the deal. Same wig, different style. And you guys can see the hair curls so nicely. You can actually wear it clean like this to the side like this. Or you can go ahead and take the hair and just 
roll it to the front like that to give yourself a nice deep bang i think the deep bang looks really cute guys i think just gives you that kind of like 90s glam look y'all know what i mean so let me know i can drop this stuff guys come on down get it together it's a new year Happy 2024, if I didn't mention that, by the way. So, yeah. So, that's basically it for today's hair video, guys. I will leave all the information down below per usual, guys. Shout out to Eunice Hair for sponsoring today's video. Love this glueless 13 by 4 unit. Very effortless, and it's just very easy to style as well. Let me know what you guys think, what my signature look is. Do you guys love number one or number two? I think I love both, and I'm just going to interchange these together just because it's just giving the ultimate adult, grown woman status vibe. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you guys in a later one.